What's up guys, Drug Free Dave here. Welcome to Nomad Sculpt for Beginners, the updated version. So if you're brand new to 3D, brand new to Nomad Sculpt, this is a great place to start. This is an absolute beginner's class. So if you have never used Nomad, if you're just getting into 3D, I'm gonna explain everything step by step slowly so you can follow along. I'm going from the absolute first step, which is opening Nomad Sculpt. So we're gonna make a little 3D frog, but it's not really about the frog, it's about all the steps that go into making him. There's lighting, texturing, materials. Some of the new features that I really love in Nomad Sculpt are things like subsurface scatter. So subsurface scatter is when you can see light through the mesh, which really gives us an opportunity to make sculpts look a lot more realistic. See, the red that you're seeing is subsurface scatter. There's also things like layer hierarchy, updates on lighting, shadows, ambient lighting, uh, reflective lighting from things that are around. There's been some big changes, so that's why I wanted to make this new class and also just usher in all the new 3D artists that are discovering 3D art like I did on the iPad Pro or on the Android tablet. It looks very confusing, but once you start doing it more often, it just gets easier and more fun, and you'll be able to create just about anything that you want to create. It's an amazing 3D application. Anyone can learn 3D, and here on Skillshare with me is a great place to start. I'm glad you're here. So let's move on to the next video, the class project.